Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now, for this segment, we're going to talk a bit about Tesla's aggressive clean energy vehicle production expansion plans. But before I do that, I'd like to share with you this, this picture of the present Tesla Gigafactory. We're gonna talk about Tesla's plans to build a new Gigafactory in China. But we would just like to talk about how impressive an achievement the present still un under construction Tesla Gigafactory is. Now, the Gigafactory is slated to become the largest manufacturing facility in the world by square footage. And as you can see from this, <coughs> excuse me, this picture, the Gigafactory is already quite large. It's constructed, it's constructed in the form of modular pads, and you can see each pad here in the frame from this uh, drone shot. And the Tesla Gigafactory is also installing rooftop solar panels, which you can see in this portion of the image, to reduce its manufacturing carbon footprint. Now. Recently, Tesla is building a new uh, parking lot to move vehicles away from surrounding the Gigafactory because they are planning to further expand the, the Gigafactory. Right now, the Gigafactory is producing approximately on the order of 20 to 30 gigawatt hours of battery packs every year. And, and this is to support Tesla's present ramp in electrical vehicle production to a rate of approximately 350,000 per year by 2019 and probably in the range of around 200,000 per year this year. So this is what mass clean energy production looks like and definitely a good response to both energy scarcity and particularly to human-caused climate change. Now, Tesla recently announced that they will be building another gigafactory, the, their third gigafactory in China. And this is in addition to a gigafactory that they will be building in Europe. And according to this report from Electric, which I highly recommend those who follow clean energy to take a look at, the Gigafactory in China will ultimately be slated to produce 500,000 cars per year by itself for the Chinese market. Now, China's had some difficulty with the Chinese market for a number of years due to exorbitant barriers to entry and fees placed on foreign vehicles being exported to the Chinese market and these fees have recently increased, these tariffs have recently increased as Trump has instigated a trade war with China among others. Now, China is opening up Shanghai, the Shanghai region as a free, free trade zone apparently to draw more manufacturers and, and technological expertise from other countries into China. And this is where China will be producing this Gigafactory. Now, if you add the 500,000 cars per year plan capacity for the Gigafactory in China with other efforts that Tesla is presently constructing, it appears that Tesla will be capable of producing in the range of one to two million electrical vehicles per year by the 2020 to 2021 timeframe. Now, like the Gigafactory in Nevada, it's likely that the Gigafactories in China and Europe will, will have a modular construction footprint. So Tesla can outlay resources and revenues for initial construction and initial production capability that is lower than the ultimate planned production capability. But it's worth noting that these are very ambitious goals. Now, it's clear that Tesla is looking toward the future in the Chinese market. And one indicator of this 
is the rapidly expanding number of charging stations that are being constructed throughout China for Tesla vehicles. Now, this is one of the just one of many major advantages for Tesla as a, an electrical vehicle producer. It owns its own charging network and it has some of the fastest charging and and most prolific charging capabilities in the world. So not only is Tesla investing in major manufacturing capability in what is argu arguably the world's largest vehicle market, it is also investing in infrastructure that will support customers who do ultimately pr produce Tesla vehicles, uh, I'm sorry, purchase Tesla vehicles in China. Now, Tesla is presently producing three vehicles, the Tesla Model S, which is a premium sedan, the Tesla Model X, and which is, which is a SUV, an all-electric SUV, and the Tesla Model 3, which is a more affordable but still premium high-performance sedan as well. The next vehicles that we'll be looking at from Tesla are the Model Y, which will be a compact SUV, and the Tesla Semi, which will be a, a long-haul all-electric truck. So Tesla's got a lot in the works, and it looks like they'll be creating a lot of value around the world, as well as helping us address human-caused climate change, which is a considerable concern in the present day. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you more soon.